our sponsorship is essential to the team's success. They allow us to purchase components that would otherwise be out of our budget. And with their most recent photo competition, it's allowed us to purchase a 3D printer, which is extremely useful for um, carbon fiber molds and rocket prototypes. This year we've ordered a vast number of components from RS. Some of the major things that I'd like to highlight are the sensors and the PCB components, which are sort of first for the season. Um, other things include soldering irons, equipment wire, and heat shrink. In the future, we would like to invest in more sensors to improve our data acquisition platform and also tweak our uh, vehicle dynamics. I think the practical aspect of the competition is the one that challenges you and opens your eyes to what actually goes into such a, such a vehicle. Especially during the build, understanding tolerances and how the CAD models that you make early in the year may be out and how you have to adapt. Think quick on your feet. And that's, that's probably the hardest part of the competition. Our team is broken up into three main components. We've got our technical director and team leader who oversee the entire project and it then splits up into business and the actual engineering uh, groups within the team. So in the engineering groups you'll have aero, chassis, powertrain, electronics and in business you'll have logistics, sponsorship, and um, public relations. I think the team's in a really good place. We're just making some final preparations for the static events and then moving on to the dynamic events, which I'm sure everyone's excited for.